when a mercury ion binds to a methyl group. This is a carbon with three hydrogens attached. It forms methyl mercury. Methyl mercury is highly toxic. Methyl mercury is created by microbes, which live in a diversity of habitats, such as uh, anaerobic areas and in the bottoms of lakes, rivers, wetlands, soils, and even the open ocean. Methyl mercury can attach to amino acids in the proteins of living things and can be transported by protein transporters which mistake methyl mercury for an amino acid. And thus, the proteins of microbes may contain low quantities of methyl mercury. These microbes can be ingested by aquatic invertebrates. These aquatic invertebrates maintain the mercury inside their bodies, and so therefore the concentration of mercury in the tissues of these invertebrates is higher than it was in their food sources. Small fish obtain methylmercury from the organisms in their diets. Once again, this mercury then stays with inside the bodies of these small fish, and the levels of mercury in these fish is higher than what it was in their food sources. Thus mercury and many other pesticides and contaminants experience what is known as biomagnification. As the food chain progresses, these substances become more and more concentrated in the body of predators which are higher in the food chain than they were in the organisms lower in the food chain. Thus aquatic predators which are at the tops of their food chains eating large quantities of fish and especially those larger fish which can live to an advanced age these fish are at the greatest risk for high levels of methylmercury contamination. Fish at the tops of their food chains may possess levels of mercury in their bodies whose concentration is a million times greater than that of the surrounding water. Methylmercury concentrations can become even greater in predators which prey on large quantities of fish. A number of birds which prey predominantly on fish thus can accumulate sufficient methylmercury uh, to suffer a number of negative effects such as uh, reduced reproductive success.